Welcome, I'm Luzo Analytics, and in this video, I will talk about Portugal's largest port and how the US and China are battling over it. The port of Sinj sits near the Cape of Sinj, south of Lisbon in Portugal, a strategic location that has caught the attention of giants. China and the US have been battling for influence around the globe, and right now, this fight stands at the door of Europe in Portugal. Portugal has taken advantage of its geography many times, starting with the age of discoveries when sailors went to sail the globe in search of riches. In World War II, Portugal remained neutral while playing both sides of the war, with some inclination towards the Allies by providing naval bases in the Atlantic islands of the Azores. Today, Portugal has launched a tender, leasing control of the port of Sinj for 50 years. This is one of the most important ports in Europe, as it's the westernmost port in mainland Europe, being the closest to the US and the Panama Canal. For this reason, the US and China are both very interested in its offer, each with their own reasons. The port of Sinj is located in a very strategic place. Geographically speaking, it sits in the perfect place for a port as the land forms a natural port and it holds deep waters. It is no coincidence that this was the first port area of Portugal and home to the most famous explorer, Vasco da Gama. Sinj sits at the crossroad between Europe, Africa, North and South America. And due to the Panama Canal, it's much closer now to Asia as well. The European Commission has already looked at this port with great interest as it sees great potential for the Union, since the expansion of this port is relatively cheap and easy due to its geography, as it does not need any complicated excavations or geographically protection from the environment, as do the Dutch ports. Besides, it's surrounded with a fertile land for expansion, as the city of Sinj itself is only home to 18,000 residents and holds a very big industrial area that can be further expanded. With this in mind, plans have been developed to expand the port and to connect it with the rest of Europe by train, creating a line that goes from Sinj to Catalonia and from there to France connecting it to the rest of Europe. Sinj will become the main centre in Europe for the production of green hydrogen. In September 2020, Portugal and the Netherlands signed a memorandum of understanding to cooperate with the production and distribution of green hydrogen produced in Sinej. From there, it will be exported to Rotterdam and to the rest of Europe. Everyone is seeing the potential in this port. It is expected to soon become the largest and most busy port in Europe. This year, even with the pandemic, the port of Sinj has been receiving one shipment of liquid natural gas a week reaching close to full storage capacity, putting further pressure into expansion. This brings us to the question, who will be the one to control it? In 1521, Portuguese explorer Jorge Alvar became the first European to reach China by sea, beginning the diplomatic relations between Portugal and China. In 2018, Portugal and China signed a Memorandum of Understanding where Portugal became an official member of the Belt and Road Initiative. Now, China is looking to expand the port of Sinj as a container terminal. China plans for goods to go from China to India, around Africa and enter Europe through Portugal. China sees a great opportunity here as Portugal has a very particular geographic position in the world, as well as having a community of Portuguese-speaking countries around the world creating a perfect transit route around Africa into Europe, making Sinj a central piece in the puzzle, one that could cost China around 650 million euros. But this would allow China to have control over a huge container port right at the front door of Europe. China has already made big investments in Portugal before, buying 22% of the main energy company in Portugal, EDP, being this company one of the biggest companies in the world when it comes to renewable energies, owning power plants in Brazil, USA and Spain. This summer, China bought 30% of Motengil, one of Portugal's biggest construction companies, and in November this year, Motengil was awarded a contract to expand the Terminal XX1 
in Sinus. This terminal will double the container capacity of the port, which is already responsible for 50% of Portugal's entries for containers. The US for its part has big plans for Sinus, as the US is looking to compete with Russia as a supplier of natural gas to Europe. Russia currently supplies Europe with around 30% of crude oil, 40% of coal, and 40% of natural gas. The interest has been made clear since 2018 when the US ambassador to Portugal said that US investment would be directed to solidify the port as a liquid natural gas hub in Europe competing with other ports, especially the ones in Spain. The idea of the US is to invest in infrastructure sustainable for liquid natural gas and then export it to the rest of Europe using a railway system. For this, the US is now looking into the Vasco da Gama terminal as a potential investment. More than doing it to export liquid natural gas, the US is doing it to attempt to counteract China's influence in Europe and especially in Portugal. Since Portugal has become the first European nation to emit debt in Chinese currency, besides the other investments and participation and in the Belt and Road Initiative. As it sits, the Vasco da Gama terminal might be the US's final opportunity to counteract Chinese influence and stop China from gaining full control over the port of Sinj. It is because of this that it's very possible that the US will do their best to win the tender for the terminal in Sinj. Either way, as it stands today, the port of Sinj is heading to become the largest and most important port in Europe, bringing Portugal back to its spotlight as a maritime power. However, Spain has been watching this unfold and is aware of the loss of power in their ports. So, because of this, they are creating barriers and denying construction of the liquid natural gas pipeline to Europe and lowering tariffs in their ports to deflect shipments from Sinj. Sinj is becoming an international hub on many levels. The Vasco da Gama terminal will be the second big expansion in less than five years. The Portuguese government plans on investing 1.6 billion euros for green hydrogen production in the port of Sinj. Portugal's largest oil and gas company, Galp, has recently closed their facilities in the north in order to focus their operations on Sinj, with the plans to expand their facilities. Besides this, in November 2020, the agricultural ministers of Portugal and Brazil met in Sinj to discuss the creation of a hub for agricultural trade in the port area. In December 2020, it started the construction of an underwater submarine cable, Ala Link, that will link Brazil to Europe, from Fortaleza to Sinj, having also some ramifications to other countries like Morocco, Mauritania, as well as the Atlantic islands of Cape Verde, Canary Islands and Madeira, improving the connection between continents. And there is also plans to create and develop a tech hub in Sinj. These are all major news, showing the growing importance and geopolitical power of the port of Sinj. All that is left to answer is one thing. Which major power will have the upper hand over this port? Well, this was my first ever video, so if you liked it, please like it and subscribe as it will help me get this channel started. Thank you.